Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Wicked here bringing you a new LP today, Trials of Mana. And yes, I know we tried to do an LP of this game a few weeks ago, like a month ago, but it didn't pan out the way I wanted it to, so we are going to redo it here. And you might be asking yourself, Wicked, aren't you already doing Final Fantasy X and Tales of Arise? Yes, but the new way I'm doing my channel is I have seven games planned and picked out I want to LP. And every single day is going to be a different game out of that seven, two videos a day. So yesterday, Thursday was Tales of Arise. Wednesday was Final Fantasy X. Today, Friday will be Trials of Mana. And then Saturday will be a new game. Sunday will be a new game, etc., etc. And then until we get back in that rotation. So yeah. And we're going to be doing Trials of Mana today. We're going to do a new game playthrough. I was going to do New Game Plus, but... You carry over a lot of stuff in New Game Plus, and it makes it a lot easier. So we're not going to do that. I think we're going to be playing on hard mode today, guys. This game is really easy, and I think we're going to do hard mode here. I am super excited to play this game because we got Vision as a Mana gameplay and stuff. We got a lot of information on that game, and it looks so freaking good. And I want to get into the Mana feel with this game. So you guys should know already that we have six main characters we can choose from. Duran, Angela, Kevin, Charlotte, Hawkeye, and Raze. And they all have a unique story, but two characters combined together make like one story in a way. Like they're connected. Like Duran and Angela, they're connected in a way that their final boss is the same enemy. Kevin and Charlotte are connected and Hawkeye and Reese are connected. So if you want to get the full experience, you have to play the game three times with specific party setups to get the different bosses and stuff like that. I'm going to be doing all three of the routes and I'm going to try to make my parties as diverse as I can. The first playthrough, I'm going to be doing Duran. The name's Duran. And then I'm going to pick Angela as my second character because I want Duran and Angela's story to be connected and we have to do that. If you pick Angela as your companion two, you won't get their connected story. So you have to pick her as companion one or the main character Angela, and vice versa. So yeah, we're going to do Angela here. And our third character I was debating. I don't know who I was going to do. Last time I played this game, I, pl I played this game three times all on the different routes. The first time I ever played, I did Duran, Angela, and Reese. I'm going to stay away from using the same combinations and use someone different. I was thinking Charlotte because she's pretty good as a mage, but the game's pretty easy, so I don't think I'm going to need that. So I think I'm going to go with Kevin here. I really like Kevin's fighting Kevin, style, and he's really fun, so me. yeah. And we will proceed with the party. Let's go. Ah, yeah. Silver and gold manu statues. Okay. The loading times are a little long in this game, but we'll make do. Do 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 do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Thank you. And I'm going to shut up so you can hear the story. Hey, you're up. <laughs> Pull yourself together. Commence the final match for the Sword Mastery Tournament Youth Division. Combatants, forward! <laughs> I'll break you like a dry noodle. Give it a try. I dare you. A dry noodle? Okay. Begin. And this is just a tutorial. A tutorial. <laughs> X is weak attacks. All right. Square is strong attacks, triangle to evade. I'm playing so many different action games that have different like buttons. Like a rise is R1 and stuff like it's gonna be really hard to like remember everything, but we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Alright, we collect these little particles and we can do class strikes. Pretty much the class strikes are the skills in the game. So L1 and we can use our class strike. Cross cut. Alright, dope. Uh, I, I forfeit! I forfeit! 
You suck. I gotta lower the uh, audio a little bit. It's a little bit loud. Hold your weapons. We have our new champion, Duran. Ooh, let's go. You come far in your training, lad. Duran, soldier from Valsena, kingdom of the plains. His father, Loki, the golden knight, and Low friend key? To the hero, what King Richard, key? went missing when the young soldier was but a child. His mother succumbed to sickness and grief, leaving him and his younger sister, Wendy, to their aunt, Stella. Like his father before him, the boy could not deny the pull of the blade. From a young age, he outshone all other swordsmen and eventually came to be in service to the king himself. I honestly really like Duran's story a lot in this. It's not my favorite out of the six, but it's it's up there. And I guess I should say right now before we get like going, no, I'm not gonna do the other two stories like back to back to back. on its way. I'll do one more round in the meantime. I will split it up in between stories so you don't get burnt out on this game. So I don't get burnt out too. Duran, you know it's never good to sleep on the job, bro. Yo, cute ass baby, but big ass head. Papa, where are you going? Off to slay some dragons. The fearsome beast known as the Dragon Lord is the strongest of its kind. <laughs> but don't worry. His Highness and I won't lose. Yo, low key. Now, I key, you look take dope care as of hell. Your and sister while I'm gone. Understood, son? Is that the mustache? That has to go. I will. Yes, guys, the voice acting in this game is not the best, but whatever. It's a remake of a really old game. What do you expect? Madam, your husband, Loki, he took a blow meant for me, causing both him and the Dragon Lord to fall into the depths of an abyss. Oh, fuck. My men and I searched the area for a week, but to no avail. We could not find Loki. I see. He fulfilled his duties as the Golden Knight until the very end. I'm sure that's what he would have wanted. <sighs> that Simone, my lady. As sad as this is, the emotion taken is taken straight out of it because the voice acting was awful. And why does Duran look like a generic oh. kid NPC character Ella. as a kid? How could you let your illness go untreated for so long, Simone? If Loki knew I was ill, he would have neglected his duties for my sake. I just couldn't hold him back like that. <sighs> yeah. You're both such fools. Stella. My children. Do not fret, Simone. I will take care of them as if they were my own. You have... my thanks. Simone? Shouldn't be sleeping on the job. Yeah, I tried to tell you that. You wouldn't listen to me. Douse? Is that oh, you? Don't give in. No, no, nah, wrong game. What happened here? Huh? What's that? That's a person, Duran. Let's go look for him. One thing I really love about uh, Trials of Mana remake is one the mini map. You guys already know how much I love a mini map. 
but two, they tell you where to go with that little star icon. It's really helpful. That's oh, this is the main menu. We don't want this. I want. How do I? Hold on. Hold on, guys. Pause menu. No. Square. There we go. Square. I want to change the background music to a good six. Sound effects go down to four. Character voices are all the way up. We gotta lower that a little bit. I'm gonna keep it on the remix uh, audio for now. All right, the camera was good. Mini map rotation. No, I don't want that. Okay. All right, there we go. Save settings. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, guys. I had to do that real quick because, yeah. All right. And if you hold in the L3 button, you can run, which is helpful. But, man, I don't care about save points right now. But, no, I never played the original, so I don't know how, like, faithful this is. I'm pretty sure it's, like, really faithful, but... I also heard it was improved, like... Drastically, and it was a lot better than the original. Halt! Who are you? <laughs> you are sharper than you look. <laughs> Last time already, you're Funny. right. The fact that you are considered the best fighter in this miserable castle. I think it's time I show you how powerless you really are. No, but when I talking. can't hit you. Yo, Douse, go back to friggin' Fantasia already. <laughs> what senile old fool would entrust the security of the castle to a child? Oh, my apologies. You work for the king, do you not? What? Don't you dare insult his majesty! Now the finishing blow! Someone infiltrated the castle! Find them! Huh. Seems you'll live another day. No matter. If all the king can boast is soldiers of your caliber, we can take this kingdom anytime we choose. Duran, stay down. You have no chance of beating him right now. Last night, an unknown wizard managed to penetrate our defenses. The soldiers on duty were no match for him. Duran was the only survivor. Witnesses say the man was wearing a red cloak. It has to be that Altanish cur, the Crimson Wizard. You mean Altana sent a spy? No honor among the lot of them. We should mount a full-scale attack on their forces before they sneak in again. Who's with me? Right! Hold! There is no definitive proof that Altena sent the intruder. Nor would they have reason to attack our kingdom in the first place. We cannot act rashly. Whoever attacked last night got past our defenses and some of our best soldiers. If we act hastily, we could fall into our enemy's trap. First, we must strengthen the castle's defenses and increase the guard. Then we shall send our own spies into Altanish territory. Yes, sir. But why would the true queen of Altena attack Valsena of all places? at all. Hey! 
Your wounds haven't healed yet. You should be in bed, silly. Red. Red whatever, just... I... I just let him... Are you listening to me? Stop whining and listen! I hate you! Wendy! Wait! All right, are we finally back in the game? Explore the surrounding town. All right. We're going to do just that, my friends. First, anything important in here? No. Also, can someone tell me why Richard looks like Wait. he hasn't aged a day in this game? I'll walk around town, might clear my head some. Yeah, let's look for items and stuff. Little sparkly stuff. Look here. That's the money in the game, if I'm not mistaken. I want to break that vase. No? All right, whatever. And he's like, yo, the knight was like, uh, Duran's the only survivor. N no, he wasn't. Otherwise, you wouldn't be talking right now. Whatever. Hey, a stardust herb. Oh, another item. Yep, I'm going to explore as fast as possible, though. I don't want to spend too much time exploring for items if we don't really need it. But I've never played the game on hard mode, actually, believe it or not. I've always played on normal, so I don't know how hard it's actually going to be. But when I first played, normal mode was actually really, really easy. So I don't think it's going to be that much, like, more difficult. Oh, well. We'll see. All right. Where? Any more treasures? I know there are, like, actual treasures somewhere if I can freaking find them. I got one over here. Oh, there it is. There's one. I knew there was one over here. Yeah, just slap it open with your freaking sword. That won't dole the blade at all. Um, item ring. Okay. I don't really care right now about item rings. I'll mess with that when it's like imported. Right now, it doesn't matter. Hey, another chest. Cup of wishes. All right. I wish to be all strong and powerful. Not how it works. Damn. I wish to have ten million dollars. No? Alright, whatever. I would I wish to have just a thousand dollars right now. Hey, a fairy walnut. I don't know what any of these items do though. I don't remember. Well I know what some of them do. Like heal HP and MP, but I don't know like most of them. Candy. I like candy. I'm not going to bother talking to NPCs because they're not important. I'm pretty sure there aren't like side quests in this game because this game was made so long ago. Like, I don't think they even thought of side quests. Oh, well, and the game's not super long. So unlike my other series where I go like 45 minutes on average, I'm probably just going to do like 30 minutes here. I'm pretty sure this game is uh, shorter than like most. Am I supposed to go in here? I think so. Yeah, so if you get, uh, if you have item seeds, you can use them to get items from this freaking pot. I think it's random what kind of item you get, but whatever. A dragon fang. That might be good. And then the more seeds and stuff you use, your pot levels up and you get better items as it levels up. Dragon fang. Was that like an... Accessory, no. Okay, yeah, I'll, yeah. Dragon Fang, there it is. What's it do? Deals water magic damage, okay. Not the bad, not the bad. Might be useful. But I don't know what enemy, what. Well, am I supposed to do anything? I don't know enemies' weaknesses and stuff, so. Yeah, I don't care to talk to you. I care to talk to your friggin' twin. Fortune teller? Okay, let's go see the fortune teller. We need to become stronger to friggin' defeat that stupid guy. 
I don't think I even have enough. I have 38 money. I don't have enough money to do anything worthwhile. Talk to me. Ask the fortune teller. All right. If she gives me really bad information, I'm killing every single one of you guys. Welcome, young man. This shop is for reading fortunes. Your pinched face tells me you have a lot on your mind, son. My what? People's lives are 99% destiny. But the rest of your future is always shaped by your will. It is up to you to decide. We call that final 1% hope. Come now. <laughs> Anyone can see you bear a great burden. Let this old bird set you on the right path. Fortunes? Why would I trust my fate to something like that? All I believe in is strength. But I'll listen to what you have to say if you tell me how to become more powerful. Manners, you oaf. No need for rudeness. <laughs> to become more powerful, you must head to Holy City Wendell. The Priest of Light can teach you how to switch your class. My class? Son, you listen and you listen good. Even a clueless fighter like yourself can eventually change to a better class. Now get out of my shop. All right, changing our class. Yes, one of the best things about this game is the ability to change your class. Switching classes, huh? It means I can defeat that crimson jerk. I'll do anything. Well, like normally changing classes is no big deal in games, about. but they're making it a big deal in this game. Is I kind of like it, and it's really cool. But it, it'll be a little bit before we can even do that, so whatever. That lousy, conniving, murderous, crimson wizard is dead meat. I won't let him get away. Not again. I won't come back until he's finished. I won't. That might take a while, buddy. Hopefully you're prepared. Leave Valsena. Okay. We're just gonna leave without saying goodbye to anybody? Oh, they're sleeping. <sighs> Sorry, Wendy. Aunt Stella. I really am. I don't think you are. Wait! Oh, she was awake this whole time. And she had the sword? What the hell? What are you doing with Aunt that sword? Stella. Here, I know you already have a bronze sword, but take this instead. Is this? This is the sword your father used when he was a young man. Back in the day, he even won the tournament with it against the young king himself. A generic oh. ass sword. Now be off. I'll explain the situation to Wendy, don't worry. Be sure to stop by the castle to see the king before you leave. He's waiting to hear from you. Is he, though? How does he know? Don't be silly. He knew your father. Of course, the son of Loki would want to travel the world. I, too, knew this day would come. I've raised you as if you were my own son, after all. Thanks, Aunt Stella. I'll be back. I promise. How old are we even supposed to be? Because I don't really think they tell us. Gotta be at least 18, I would imagine. So we have to, Okay, we're just gonna be... All right, never mind. Teleported to the king, gotcha.
I see you're planning a journey, Duran. Your Majesty! Forgive me. It was my weakness that allowed the enemy to escape so easily. I wish to atone for my mistakes. I cannot forgive the wizard for what he did. For the first time in my life, I was utterly powerless. He not only defeated me, he insulted you, my king! He must pay for this. I do not plan to return home until he has answered for these crimes. I cannot. Acknowledged. You have my blessing on your journey. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> His resolve is truly admirable. I had feared that perhaps he was raised too proud, but I see that he is just like his father at that age. Can we finally get on the road and start our journey? Yes. Uh, I'm super excited to get out to the world here. I want to get more combat, though. The combat in the game is so freaking good, man. Like, playing this after playing some games that released, like, later that was supposed to be, like, the best of the best. I'm looking at you, Final Fantasy 16. I think this game's combat's better. Yeah. I said it. I did not care for 16's combat that much. To so play a game with good combat is a lot better. Like, I don't know, 16 tried to be too different and too fancy. Like, what's wrong with traditional hack and slash type combat like this? I love it. All right. And unlike a, like Tales of Zestaria or something, you fight enemies right on the friggin' screen and it doesn't mess up the camera. So man, do you guys remember that playing Zestaria and the camera being all messed up because they tried to be different about their combat and it did not work out? Alright, which way am I supposed to go? I don't know. Stupid rabbits, die! <laughs> oh right, I'm at level two, level two, let's go. Am I supposed to go this way or the other way? I don't know. Watch out, watch out. Ooh, nice dodge. They're not really doing anything wicked. They don't have to dodge that bad, whatever. They're hitting me without me even like noticing they're hitting me. Alright, let's Okay, thanks. What? Oh, yeah, this is a day and night cycle. Or whatever. It's not like day and night, but it like changes day. I don't think it has any effect on the game at all, but whatever. Alright, the game straight up told me no. Can't go that way. Thanks, game. Can I go up here? Come on, I can reach that. Oh. I can literally go from there over there. I'm stupid. Don't be hasty. Although, all the times I played this game, guys, friggin', I never remember I have friggin', like, a strong attack. Level up to increase your HP and stats like your strength. With increased stats, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Pretty basic stuff. We'll get into the training menu, training points, in a little bit here. It's a really, really nice feature. I like it a lot. Like, this game... It's very simple story, simple like areas to explore, pretty simple combat, but it all just works so well. It's like when games try to be too different or try to reinvent the wheel too much, sometimes it doesn't work out. Like, yes, you want to change up your game every so often to make it appeal to players, but man, Sometimes the classics are better for a reason. You know what I mean? Like, I, I talked about Final Fantasy 16 and how I didn't like the combat and stuff because it was 
it like tried to be way too different from what action combat is supposed to be in my mind but it was still a good game like i enjoyed it i enjoyed the playthrough i did on the channel but sometimes just stick to your roots like that's one thing about like dragon quest for example dragon quest has never blown it out of the like water with this game but it sticks to what they do and they stick with what they do, do like really well classic turn-based combat with good characters and good uh class customizations that's literally all you need in a game really like just stick to your roots if you just stick to what you're good at but improve it in other areas like small areas you will be just fine like the tales of game is another culprit they went away from like the Vesperia, Abyss, Symphonia days where the games were amazing and they changed it to games without world maps, fast travel, completely different type of combat and it's like yes the games are still really good but if you kept what the fans liked, world maps, side quests and stuff like that and all you did is like revamp the combat. I think people would like these games a lot more. That's like one of the th things I hear about the games, the newer games that people don't like and they wish they would move on from, but whatever. I'm not a game developer, so I don't know what is all about that, but whatever. Oh well. Can we get one more level, you think, before moving on? I don't think so, actually. All right, can I save anywhere? I don't think that's a thing. No, it can't be a thing because they have save points. So yeah, never mind. So far, hard mode has not been hard. That was another reason why I was debating doing New Game Plus because you have harder difficulties to choose from. But there were, you carry over your money and stuff like that. It would have made the game way too easy. Like, easier than it already is, and I didn't want that. And you guys might have noticed my playthroughs on the channel. I try to make them new game friendly. Like, I know I did, like, new game plus on Vesperia. But I was showing you 100% that game, and I still try to make it newcomer friendly, you know what I mean? I want people to be able to watch my playthroughs and follow along without feeling like they need to do so many things before they can watch it stone split gap this game does auto save I know that like every time you go to a new area to auto save but maybe I'm weird and I'm different but I can't trust the auto saves like I gotta manually save before I quit because I don't trust it. Yo, is there like no music in here or am I just deaf? Well, fun fact, I am partially deaf to my left ear, but whatever. Magic rope? Is that a like an escape rope for Pokemon? Speaking of Pokemon, oh, I haven't played a Pokemon game in forever. Normally, I play through all the generations of one through whatever how many there are at the time back to back to back to back every year but I haven't done it in like two years I did it for like five years straight and I haven't done it since and no guys I will not be doing Pokemon on this channel Pokemon is a game I just play by myself it's just just you wait crimson wizard I ain't gonna stop until I'm more than powerful enough to take you down. You won't get away with this. I will defeat you. Duran. Bested by the Crimson Wizard, nearly lost confidence in his skills. He set out for Holy City Wendell to gain the strength to overcome his failings.
Let's go! I'm so hyped. I love this freaking game, man. I love it a lot. But yeah, like I was saying, Pokemon never gonna happen on the channel because it's just not a type of game I can LP. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe one day I might change my mind, but don't count on it. to Ferolia. Don't resist, and we may spare you. <clears throat> Ferolian forces have taken the town and closed the docks. Now my ship's stuck in the harbor until who knows when. Chad's been taken? What are these beastmen up to? I'd love to throw them all out of town, but... There's only one of me. Yeah, there's only one of you, but I, would, I think you can do it. You're pretty good. All right, what are we supposed to do? Let's go over here. Let's mess with this character. All right, we don't know her name, but I guess the subtitles want to spoil it. Yeah, this is Angela. You already know. She's one of the characters hey, we selected. What is wrong with you? Could you give a girl some peace and quiet? Back off. <laughs> I didn't even do anything, though. You just woke up and decided to slap me. You can't get anything past me. <sighs> oh, hell no. Nah. Cover her nose. Can't deal with freaking snores. All right, yep, there's Angela. She's our second character we selected, but I don't think we can actually... Like recruiter right now, but whatever. All right. I guess we'll explore. I wanted to end it off, but I don't have a save point to do so. So whatever. I know I said like 30 minute videos for this series, but if we can't. Where? Oh, I'm at the dock. Okay. I didn't even know you can come over here. Whatever. Yeah, but I can't save. And this is the first video, so I guess it can go a little bit longer. Jump over. Oh. <laughs> I tried to jump, but I pressed the wrong button. Can you stop it? Thanks. I want to jump over here, maybe? I thought there was an item over here. Well, there is, but not the one I thought. Maybe it's... Alright, not what I meant to do, but it worked out. Why am I pressing X to jump? Is that like... Is that jumping a rise? Is X to jump in that game? Is that why I'm doing it? Oh, well. Hey, item! Give me that medical herb, herb, herb. Ooh, goodies. Money. Oh, it's like a wishing well of sorts. Like, a, oh, a wishing fountain in this case, but you know what I mean. So many goodies. All right, but yes, while we're just exploring, guys, I hope you are enjoying me doing many different games on the channel instead of like sticking to one because I think it's gonna be better overall to have diversity on the channel instead of sticking to just one friggin game the whole time that might get boring oh well we'll see if i find that doing seven games at a time is hard i might cut back but for now it's easy because the way i planned it in my head is 
I record two videos a day of the game. I got to upload the next day. Yeah. So like, for example, for this game, I'm recording it Thursday night. I'm going to up get it ready for Friday morning or Friday. And then Friday I'm going to record that game and get it ready for Saturday. You know what I mean? So though, we're always ahead and we're never going to miss out on videos. That's my goal anyways. It could change if I get messed up or whatever. Hey, it's Hawkeye. This town is caught up in a war it never wanted. It's the same story everywhere you go in the world these days. Like my homeland. What on earth is going on? I don't know. What are you even doing here? I didn't even... Yeah, I didn't pick you as my character, so what are you doing here? I think he always shows up regardless. These Barolia look like humans during the day, but at night, they transform into animals. Don't leave the house after dark. You hear? All right. Hey, if you're trying to leave the city, night is actually best. Once the beastmen transform, they lose their better judgment. The whole lot of them tend to get together and brawl amongst themselves until dawn. It's easier to sneak out of the city then. Good luck. You and literally told me to not to leave out by then. the Trade inn at night. And, and then you're telling me to leave at night because it's better for me. Make up your freaking mind. Like, what the hell? All right, let's just go to the inn and sleep. Then we can probably leave the city here, like he said. Yo, why are the innkeepers... The shopkeepers and all the freaking keepers, they all look alike for one. And two, they always do that stupid dance. Like, you don't get tired ever. I would be loving that if I could do that, honestly. Transform. Maybe not into a werewolf, but just transform would be dope. All right, is it true? Can we escape, escape Jod? All right, let's do it. Um, I think we got every treasure. If I miss something, we can always come back. Status, yeah, we know about statuses in games. We're in the rabbi forest. All right. Stupid mushrooms. Head to Cascade Cavern. Sounds good, but... Oh, let's fight these guys real quick. Why are we doing so much damage? I mean, I'm not complaining doing so much damage, but Jesus, that was a lot. Also, uh, gear. So, I don't understand. Stella gave us a sword, but... We didn't get any new weapons actually in the inventory. Whatever. Alright, guys, next time we will explore the Rad Bite Forest to head to Cascade Cavern. I want to thank you all for watching. You guys, if you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe for more Trials of Mana. Maybe check out some of my other LPs. But until next time, stay wicked.